Okay, this tutorial is going to teach you how to create if statements. An if statement is simply uh, a formula that will look for a certain criteria, and if it's met, it'll perform some kind of function, whether that is displaying text or adding a mathematical function or something like that. Okay, so um, this tutorial, this top one here, the if statement task number one, uh, this one is going to um, display some text. It'll say noob, okay, or pro, depending on the uh, ratio found here. Okay, so let's uh, get into it. Okay, just like every other formula, we start with an equals. If, open bracket. Okay, now we need to check um, which cell we want to look in. And in this case, it is D7 because we're checking the ratio. So if D7 is greater than seven because that'll include eight and anything higher than it so we write seven um, now we need to write what will happen if it finds out that that cell is greater than seven um, and in this case we want it to say pro which is written right here for us and so what we're going to do is we're going to comma and now we're just going to click on this cell over here okay so if d7 is greater than seven it's going to display this whatever's written in h6 okay and the reason we like to click on the cell reference instead of writing the word pro is we can change the word later. Okay. Um, but we also need to make sure that we put absolute cell referencing on H6. So we put a dollar sign in front of the H and a dollar sign in front of the 6. Okay. Um, and now that's the first condition met. So comma. And now we're going to make the next one. So we're going to make OK and noob the settings for that. So if open bracket D7 is greater than uh, so the value is between four and seven so greater than three greater than three comma we want it to display whatever's in h5 and once again dollar signs to make it absolute and now finally the last one if open bracket d7 is less than Uh, the number three. Actually, we'll go, yeah, less than number four because we want to include three in that. Um, then we need to display H4, which is noob. So absolute cell referencing again. Now for the part that most people forget, you've got to include the closing of all the brackets. So one, two, three, there we go. All closed and we press enter. Okay, and so there's our formula, and it works by the looks of things because at the moment it says noob. Let's change this to 5. It says OK, and let's change this to an 8. It says pro. Okay, so there you go. There's our formula working perfectly. So let's just change those back to what they were. And of course, we can copy the formula up, and we can copy it down. And let's just change one of these so we get all the values. There we go. And that is the first if statement completed. So now you need to move down, scroll down, and go to the next task. Okay, this time we're going to add a whole bunch of variables. And you can see them here. This is a make-believe uh, student's results. And based on their total semester average, we're going to give them a grade allocation. And you can see the grade settings here, um, written down here. So anything greater than 94 gets an A. Anything greater than 84 gets a B. So it's a little bit more advanced than the one we just did. But instead of having just three values, it's going to have uh, six of them. Okay, so it's a bit longer, uh, a bit more complicated. And we're actually going to have to write in the values. Okay, so let's get started. Equals if open bracket. Um, and now we need to click on this semester average because that's where we're looking. Um, E19. So if E19 is greater than 94%, so greater than... 94%, make sure you include the percentage sign, as it says over here, 94. Uh, then we want it to display uh, an A. Okay, and you can click on it like last time, but this time I'm gonna just change it up because um, I just wanna show you another way to do it. So you can go talking mark, the letter A, then close talking mark. Okay, so uh, it'll display this A letter. Now, um, this way um, can be a bit of a pain because you can't later on go through and change the grading system um, here and it will normally that would allow their formulas to change 
So you'd have to individually go back into the formulas and change them. Okay, so probably not the most efficient way if you were trying to come back and edit this, uh, but for the moment, that's what we're gonna stick with. Okay, so if E19 is greater than 94, give him an A, comma. Um, now what I want to do, instead of having to type that again, we're just gonna highlight that, uh, including the if, there we go. Press Control C and Control V to paste it. And we're just gonna change 94 to 84. And we're going to change A to B. Okay, that'll make that a lot quicker. Paste again. Change that to 74. Change that to a C. Paste again. 64. Uh, D. Paste again. Uh, 49, I believe. And that should be an E. And last of all, we have to reverse this greater than symbol, turn it into a less than, and we need to write 50%. And that should equal an F. Okay, so that is your formula there, but you have to have to close those brackets first. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You can tell it's the last one because it's black. And that's our formula done. Press enter, and there we go. So let's just copy that formula down. And you can see all the grades changing there. Let's just make this guy fail for the sake of it. Even though I'm going to wreck my formula, let's just go 12%. There you go, you got an F. So undo that. There we go. Okay, so that is a more complicated version of an if statement. Um, but once you get the hang of it, it's not that hard. All right, uh, now scroll down. And you've got the very last task here and no groaning. But this time you have to create your own if statement. It can be as simple as you want but I want it to include something completely new. So don't use any of the stuff above, just create your own if statement and down, down here. And once that's done, save your work um, and move on to the next lesson.